Welcome to the 2026 Oklahoma Youth Expo Nomination Portal. Today, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of logging in, creating exhibitors and groups, and submitting your nominations. Logging in. If you are a parent or guardian logging in for the first time, start by creating a new user account using the sign up option on the login screen. Please note that each user account email must be unique. The user account should belong to the person completing the entries. It does not have to be under the exhibitor's name. If you are an ag teacher or 4-H extension agent, you'll log in as your club using the button titled Logging in as a club. Once you select your showing club, enter your email address and the club password. The OYE staff has already assigned each club leader's email for authentication. If you are a club leader and have trouble logging in, please reach out to the OYE staff for assistance. For clubs with multiple teachers, the process is the same. Multiple teachers can manage, add exhibitors, and enter nominations simultaneously. Creating exhibitors and groups. Once logged in, returning users will see all previously created animals and exhibitors. If you're a new user, the system will prompt you to create either a group or a solo exhibitor. When entering more than one exhibitor, create a group for each set of siblings. In this example video, you'll see a group created for the Roseman family. If you manage multiple exhibitors or groups, use the drop-down menu in the top left corner of the screen to switch between them. This allows you to view and manage each group or exhibitor easily. Creating sibling groups helps simplify family nominations and reduces the chance of errors. We recommend only creating groups for families nominating together. Do not create separate groups for each species. When creating a group or exhibitor, you'll be asked which club is managing them. This club determines who oversees your nominations and who you'll be stalled with at the expo. If you're an FFA advisor also managing younger siblings who are in 4-H, assign all of them to your FFA club. This ensures they are stalled together and you can manage all their entries in one place. When setting up individual exhibitors, you'll also select their school. This is what will be announced in the show ring. To summarize, club equals who manages nominations and stall assignments. School equals what is announced in the ring. E-signature forms, a new update for 2026. We now requires an electronic signature for liability forms. Club leaders no longer need to mail or upload these forms separately. If you are completing the form on behalf of an exhibitor, we recommend printing a copy for your records using the download link provided on the e-signature question. Once your exhibitor is created, you can begin adding animals to that group or continue adding additional exhibitors or family groups. Remember, this setup only needs to be done once. Exhibitors will carry over year to year and you'll simply update information as needed. Adding animals. To add animals, click the Animals tab on the left-hand side of your screen. You'll see the current group name in the top left. Each animal nominated for OYE is unique and only needs to be created once, even if it's a family nomination. Be sure you're adding animals under the correct group or exhibitor. Use the drop-down menu to switch between groups or solo exhibitors before adding animals. OYE tags are also unique identifiers. If a tag number is duplicated anywhere in system, you'll receive an error message. If you're certain your entry is correct, contact the OYE staff for help resolving the issue. Submitting nominations. Once all exhibitors and animals are added, go to the Nominations and Entries tab on the left side of the screen. Before beginning, confirm you're viewing the correct group. If you have existing nominations, they'll appear by exhibitor name, species, and breed. If not, you'll see the button Begin Adding Nominations. From there, select the exhibitor for the nomination. For family nominations, you can select multiple siblings. Choose the animal you're nominating. Enter the department name, then select the division or breed. In the example, you'll see nominations for two breeding does and two dark cross market barrows. When selecting the division, a confirmation message will appear. For example, you have one eligible animal. This ensures your animals were created correctly. After clicking Next, eligible animals for that division will display. Select the animals and click Submit Nomination. A new box will appear listing the exhibitor's nomination and all animals under that division or breed. This helps keep your nominations organized and easy to review. If you create additional nominations, for example, a Duroc Market Barrow, a new box will appear for that breed. Once you've created all nominations for your exhibitors and animals, the process is complete. You do not need to press Submit Cart or print a receipt. If you'd like a record, click Confirm Nominations in the top right corner to download an Excel spreadsheet of all nominations for, for club leaders. Club leaders will see an additional option under the Nominations and Entries tab called Club Entry Management. This view allows you to see all nominations associated with your club in one place. You can also download a complete Excel report of your chapter's nominations. The home screen also provides an overview of all exhibitors and groups you manage. 
along with their progress through the process. If you have any questions, please contact the OYE staff. Expo, the show management app that lets you run the show, not the other way around.